Okay, I'm Danielle McCartan here with Anthony Fasano at the Anthony Fasano Bocce Courts in Verona, New Jersey, your eighth annual tournament, your annual bocce tournament. How important is it to you for, for you to do this in your hometown? Uh, it's, it's, I think it's vital. Um, you know, I'm, I'm proud to be here. Mm -hmm. I'm proud to do it in my hometown. Uh, got a bunch of great people supporting a great cause, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, hopefully it's an added bonus to the community. So. Yeah, so you're doing this in partnership with Backpacks for Life. How did that partnership start? Um, a good family friend of ours started Backpacks for Life after he um, uh, did a tour in Afghanistan and came back and uh, was struggling, uh, but also wanted to give back to veterans. So he, uh, he started this foundation and we thought it was a great partnership. And um, you actually refurbished these courts here in order to make this happen? Well, not my hands, but yes, it was our yeah. idea to, uh, to get it done and uh, a lot of help and volunteer work from people in the community. Cool. That's that's very done. very cool. So now your Italian heritage, it's cool that you're doing a botch. I'm an Italian teacher, yeah. so this is cool for me to come and see this and hear Italian being spoken here. I mean, how has your heritage contributed to your success in the NFL? Yeah, I mean, well, I don't know about in the NFL, um, but maybe my bocce game. Uh, I kind of grew up in the backyard playing bocce yeah. uh, with with the neighborhood guys and. Uh, um, it's great to have so many good people involved and some serious bocce players. Uh, <laughs> Seriously. Um, you know, pretty much from Italy. I think some of them are. So. Uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure, and, and the talent's gone up. Here, yeah. So, so what, you went to Notre Dame. What did your family think of you becoming a fighting Irishman? Yeah, I mean, they were happy. It was a good Catholic school, you know, and, uh, you know, we didn't know if football was really going to work itself out as it has. So yeah. it's good to go uh, to a great school. And parli italiano? No, I wish. Oh. I wish. You got to come to my class. I do. And uh, have you ever been to Italy? Yeah, a couple of times. Okay. Yeah, and I still don't know how to speak it. Oh, you got to <laughs> learn. Know. You know, I was thinking, if it's okay with you, could we do like I found some like really popular Italian songs. Some of them I've heard here. Yeah. You think you can complete the lyric on a couple of them? Uh, we can sure try. Okay. I'm not scared to try. <laughs> All right, you ready? First one. Sorry. Oh, I know. man. You're making us look bad. I mean, I thought you, I thought you were talking about like Frank Sinatra, maybe uh, Andre Bocelli, like <laughs> the most popular song. We're hoping for New York, New York. Yeah, pretty much. All right. All right, let's see about this one. Oh. Cantare. Yeah. Oh, you want me to really sing. Okay. Uh, all right, and then we, I got a Dean Martin one for you. Okay. Pizza pie, that's amore. That's amore. That's awesome. That was a great one. That was a good one. Yeah. Okay, so if we can go a little bit into the Titans for this yeah. year now. Okay, so you're entering your 11th NFL season. Um, out of Notre Dame, what is your draft story first? Um... I was here in town with a bunch of people, a lot of the same people that are here today, yeah. uh, waiting for the phone call, um, and got drafted in, uh, in the second round to, to the Dallas Cowboys, and mm -hmm. was just thrilled. And I grew up a Giant fan, so I had to change my alliances pretty quickly, <laughs> but uh, it was easy. It was a great organization. So the Titans are coming off a 3-13 and, and 13 season. Um, what improvements have been made for this upcoming season? Uh, we have a different coach now, and yeah. uh, a, a lot of uh, different players in free agency, mm -hmm. um, a good rookie class. Uh, and really just the, just the mentality is trying to get change, you know, of, uh, expecting to win and, uh, you know, having people fear us when they play. So, so um, it's, I, th I think we're going to have a great, great amount of success. So Coach Malarkey is actually, like you said, changing the culture a little bit. He's doing in-house competitions, I heard. Have you participated in any of those? Oh, of course. Yes, I have. It's a, it's a daily thing. Competition is high uh, in pretty much everything we do there. So it's kind of part of changing the culture. And what's what's the prize? Uh, just, just to be able to say you won, just a little bragging rights, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's kind of what competition is about. It's not really what you get, it's just that you beat them. Yeah, so now, have you, as a tight end, seen a little bit of evolution from Marcus Mariota? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, I think he had a great year, rookie year. We just mm -hmm. have to keep him healthy uh, and, yeah. and protect him a little bit better. But uh, he's going to be starting this league for a long time. So the AFC South is one of the most, I would say, wide-open divisions in the NFL. You had the Texans making the playoffs at 9-7. and seven. Um, What's the outlook for the Titans this year? 
I think we have a great shot at winning our uh, division. You know, it's, uh, it seems there's a lot of parity in our division right. and throughout the whole league. So uh, if we establish our run game, don't turn the ball over and do all the things you have to do to win, uh, I think it'll be great. Okay, well, Danielle McCartan here with Anthony Vasano. Thank you very much and good luck. Sorry about my swimming skills. It's yeah, yeah. quite all right. <laughs>